here today with our lung health experience. And what this is, is a series of interactive kiosks that are designed to engage the public and letting them uh, see what exposure asthma and COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, has on their lives. And while there's about 235 million people that are affected by symptoms of asthma worldwide, about 65 million people have mild to moderate to even severe COPD. And so what we're trying to do is educate the public on how COPD and asthma can affect them in their daily lives. So what we have in this particular kiosk is a kiosk that's designed to show people how the effects of COPD or asthma might affect their lungs. And so what this does is this cre creates a restriction so that it's difficult to get the air in their lungs, much like they'd have a restriction if they had COPD or, or, or asthma. So here at Severe COPD, you'll see that not a lot of air is allowed to actually get to the pig lungs. And we use a pig lung because it's very analogous to the human lung and about the same size and about the same shape. And so as we change to severe asthma or moderate COPD, you can see we're getting some airflow into the lungs. If we get to a mild or moderate asthma that's a little more controlled, we're actually able to get more flow into the lungs. And of course, if we have healthy lungs, which is what we want folk people to focus on, then the idea is you can get a lot of airflow into the lungs as well. And so it's a way to show people in the public just how their choices can affect their lung health. So what we have here is we have kind of a fun thing. It's really designed to engage with the public. And the idea is it talks about the activities of daily living or the things that we do every day that we sometimes take for granted if we have healthy lungs. Things like getting dressed in the morning without assistance, taking a walk with our family, doing everything we do like going out to get the mail and things like that, or unlimited activity if we have healthy lungs. So the idea is to just engage with the public in a way that makes it fun in their learning. So these particular two displays here actually talk about the amount of airflow that somebody has. And the idea is we're trying to get the public to get in quantitative terms something they can feel to show them what it's like to have a particular disease state. So with severe COPD, there's not a lot of airflow. We only have one fan going. If they have severe asthma, you can have a little bit more airflow or a moderate COPD. If they have mild to moderate asthma or mild COPD, we have a little more airflow. And of course, finally, if you have healthy lungs, the idea is there's a lot of airflow coming out of here. What we're actually seeing here is what it looks like to actually move air through your lungs. And the idea is if you have one of these processes, asthma or COPD, we're not actually able to move a lot of air. And so this actually demonstrates visually what it's like to have restricted airflow. So here in severe COPD, there's not a lot of airflow and it's in the red zone. Uh, severe asthma or moderate COPD, it's kind of the orange zone. And mild to moderate asthma, you're starting to get a little more airflow and then finally with healthy lungs, you'll see that we are actually able to move all the airflow.